What's going on my Cartelians? Cartel from Hell back again. This time we're going to have an unboxing of the Sideshow Collectibles Boba Fett Premium Format Exclusive Statue. And what makes this statue the exclusive version is a uh, switch out rifle for Boba Fett. Now this uh, character has been done before from Sideshow. And uh, you know it's pretty much just on a really flat base so the statue is maybe about this tall and this one is actually a lot taller and I'm actually digging this one a little more so let's go ahead and uh, do the unboxing on this bad boy let's pop the top alright so if you guys haven't seen my channel already just know that I do a uh, complete review of this statue right after the unboxing and I'll do another video for the 4k close-up so you guys can see the really tight details um, of this piece all right let's go and crack it I just want to say I really appreciate you guys checking out my channel showing me a lot of support all the love you guys have been showing me really good stuff I know it feels like I've been putting out a lot of videos right now um, and just bombarding you guys with videos but I've been getting in a lot of pieces lately so I definitely want to document all the pieces that I have been getting so you guys can see what's up see what's going on with my collection keep you guys informed keep you guys in the loop Alright, so one thing is, Sideshow does put in these little funky foam corners on this piece for protection. I really don't care for them though because, you know, they usually fall apart and uh, just create a mess, really, to tell you the truth. So, I really wish they would stop using them. I know some people like them, but I don't. <laughs> Alright you guys, so the packaging on this statue is pretty much going to be like every other um, Star Wars statue from Sideshow. Just a really plain box. Really reminds me of the Black Series box. You know, from the Star Wars toys. All that good stuff. Let me give you guys a really quick look at the box. But that's all it's going to be is really quick because there's not too much... Uh, going on with this box. It's just Boba Fett on all four sides. Alright. Let's crack her open. Very excited to get this piece in, you guys. You know, my uh, my Star Wars collection isn't really that big, um, statue-wise. So it's always nice to get another Star Wars piece. Um, I'm not going too crazy with Star Wars pieces, though, you guys, just because, you know, Star Wars universe is just way too big and uh, pretty much just going to get the heavy hitters for Star Wars. I do really need to get some droids. Badly. Badly. But there's a time for everything. And right now is not the time. Just have too many damn pre orders. Really, that's just an excuse, right? Because the real thing is money. You know, you can't have all your money go to statues. But if I had more, I would have more statues, right? <laughs> Alright, you guys. So one thing I do notice, the styrofoam is not as good as the other Star Wars pieces that I do have. Um, they had a really good run where they were using a high-density gray styrofoam. Uh, looks like they went back to the cheap styrofoam. Hopefully it's only temporary. Maybe they ran out of the other stuff for the time being. We'll see what's up with that. But 
it's kind of sad to see, man, because I was really enjoying that uh, high density gray styrofoam, man. This stuff really, um, you know, held up to a, a beating. This is just pretty much the regular um, sideshow styrofoam. I like to drink a beer when I'm putting together my pieces just to, you know, slow me down and calm my nerves a little bit because, you know, I don't like to rush it too much when I'm uh, doing unboxings and putting these statues together. Never a good thing when you rush. Alright, looks like we have a cake on the bottom of the box. So as I always do, unpack the base first, get that base out, give the statue something to stand up on, and see if uh, this base is super light, like they've been doing a lot with their pieces. Oh wow, it's actually not that bad. It does have some weight to it, which is a good thing because, you know, Man, I'm just not digging super light featherweight pieces, man. Just really, just really don't care for it. Some really nice weatherization and battle damage on it. Really cool looking so far. Definitely stay tuned for the uh, complete review of this statue, you guys. There's going to be a lot to say about this one. Alright, now let's get Boba Fett out, throw him on the base. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot to say about this statue, you guys. Definitely stay tuned! Alright, so let's throw him in here real quick. Looks like we're going to have two keyholes and one peg. These are always fun. You don't want to force them in, you guys. You pretty much just want gravity to do the work for you. And, you know, when it's not going in right away, it just usually pretty much means that your angle is a little off. So, take your time. Give it a little wiggle. And as soon as it starts sliding in, just the slightest, it'll pretty much go in from there. So yeah, definitely do not force them in, you guys, because if you start doing that, you're going to, you know, create hairline fractures and all that stuff. And you're not going to see it because it's going to be underneath the mixed media. But it's definitely a, a very uh, big possibility of it happening. So just let gravity pretty much do it for you. Man, this piece is looking really nice so far, you guys. The base is very nice and heavy. Not extremely heavy, but it does have weight to it. The body is very nice and heavy. Um, but I think that's pretty much going to stop there <laughs> for the weightiness. Except for, you know, 
this rocket pack. This rocket pack right here is fully sculpted, you know, polystone with the key and the magnet to hold it in place. Which is very nice. Yeah, man, that thing looks sick. All right, so let's go ahead, throw his rocket on his back. They even have these little uh, mixed media straps on the back that, you know, from an angle, they don't connect anywhere, they just hang from his back. But if you see it from a certain angle, you're going to see it and uh, and see those straps on there. So, so the rocket pack is actually going to look like it's strapped on there, even though it's really not. Pretty cool. Nice little touch sideshow. Alright, get that thing in there nice and snug. Now, let's go ahead and throw on his cape. Now this thing is going to have to be posed. You know, the way that they have creased it, folded it inside the packaging, it's going to have that ugly line through it for, for a while. Some people will like iron them out and stuff. I'm not going to do that though. Would be pretty cool though. Iron that thing out. So this is pretty much just a peg for the cape. Just a small little plastic peg. And you're going to insert it right into his shoulder. Boom! Instinct cape, you guys. Instinct cape. Alright. See if we could do a little something, something, just for the time being. It's his cape. So it doesn't look so fugly. Well, that's not any better, but I'm not trying to make the video too long, you guys. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and throw in his head sculpt. Now, this is the thing that I'm most disappointed about this statue. This head sculpt is all plastic, you guys. And... You know, I really wish that it was polystone. I wish that it was heavy. This thing is the lightest head sculpt I've ever received from Sideshow to date. And, you know, it seems like it's a going trend, though, you guys. It seems like they're using it more and more. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really digging it. I know a lot of people just don't care. It's more of a personal preference type thing. But, dude really not digging it sideshow you know you create a freaking masterpiece and then you do something like that like what's the point of that i really don't understand that yeah weight issues come on though really it's not like you guys don't have fully sculpted uh portraits on other statues that are completely fine that being said the face sculpt is really nice you know has a lot of uh, battle damage and weatherization and uh, looking at it you can't tell that it's plastic but deep down inside I'll always know it and I'm not gonna lie to myself and uh, say that it really doesn't matter because it kind of does to me you guys are you know kind of takes a little away for me really honestly if I wanted to collect you know plastic memorabilia I would just collect toys some people think these are toys, but they're really not. You guys, come on, man. Be real. Alright, so this exclusive version is going to have two rifles. Now, the exclusive rifle is this one right here. And the exclusive one is the one that comes without the strap. 
So I'm pretty much just going to display him with the exclusive. I really like the way it looks. I do wish that I had the strap and I wish that I had the other um, toolings around here on the buttstock. But uh, it's really nice looking still. I definitely dig it. Bubba Fett with his rifle. And then we also have one more part of the base that needs to be plugged in. It's been a while since I looked at the prototype pictures. So I gotta remember where it goes really quick. Yeah, you guys, I really appreciate all you guys' support, man. All you guys' love, man. You guys have been showing me mad love lately. And I uh, just want you guys to know I really appreciate it, man. It's good stuff. Keeps me doing these videos, you know what I'm saying? You know, I do work a lot. As you guys probably already know. You know, 14 hours, 16 hours, 12 hours. Until the job's done. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, coming home and, and doing this for a couple hours takes a lot out of me, but I really enjoy it at the same time, so. You know, you guys showing me love and support just really just puts it over the top and makes it worthwhile, you know what I mean? So, just want to say I appreciate it. Alright, so he's going to have these other tools that you're going to slide inside of his pants. He's got some little cargo type pockets on the bottom of his legs. Pretty much gonna have to move his knee guards to get these in here. Nice and snug. All right, those went in pretty easily, you guys. Pretty easy. Throw this last one in real quick. Boom! Very simple stuff on that one, you guys. <clears throat> you know, this. The statue wasn't too hard to put together. Um, definitely put together a lot harder statues. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, regular rifle really quick, just so you guys can get a look at, look at it. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, so this is a regular rifle. It has the strap. But yeah, the the rifling at the end is pretty much what makes it look different though. You know, it just looks like a massive like grenade launcher. But yeah, this is the regular one and this is the exclusive one. I'm gonna go ahead and pack that bad boy back up in there. Yeah. Alright you guys, so yeah, you know. I'm actually very satisfied with this statue. You know, there's always going to be a couple things that you would like to change about a statue. Um, that's every statue, you guys, and you know. Especially if you really sit down and think about it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for the most part, it's a very beautiful statue. It's a very nice environmental base ties it all in tells a story and i really love that about statues and uh yeah you guys this is just going to be you know the unboxing and definitely uh stay tuned for the complete review and then the other video for the 4k close-ups so you guys can see all the details and you know really appreciate all you guys support don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment say what's up you know, 
Until the next one, catch me if you can. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you.